What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. We are back again with the Ascent 18. As we all know, this thing is a very, very capable crawler. If you guys saw my last video, you guys saw that this thing basically made it almost to the very top of that boulder compared to the SCX24, which had all that brass weight on it. Now, I'm thinking Red Cat came out with all those hop-ups for this thing, a whole bunch of brass to be able to put on this right out of the box. I believe it costs like 20 bucks for all those modifications. But does the Ascent 18 really need it? Do I really need it to be able to make it up that boulder? We're gonna find out. What I wound up doing was like I said in the last video I ended up ordering some wheels but these wheels are just aluminum wheels they're not metal they're not brass they're just basic aluminum wheels as you guys can see they're still packaged what I did get was some Topcad 1.0 beadlock brass wheels for the Ascent 18 we're gonna put it on here. We're gonna see how much the Ascent weighs without them wheels. Then we're gonna, because I want to, we're gonna weigh <laughs> these, all bead locks. We're gonna weigh these without the tires. We are also gonna weigh these without the tires. And then we're gonna weigh the Ascent 18 to see how much of a difference it's gonna make it. So, I think with just the B-Lock wheels and tires, again, these tires for the Ascent 18 are very, very good. But uh, I think with the B-Lock wheels, the brass B-Lock wheels, it's going to be enough to make it up that boulder. And we're going to find out. So uh, let's pull the scale out and see what the weight is for these, th for these guys. All right, guys, so I turned on the scale already. We're gonna check and see how much these weigh. As you guys can see, it comes out to 52 grams. 51, 52 grams, uh, 52 grams, we're gonna call it. Now the top cads come in at a total of 147 grams that you guys see right here, 148. All right, 147, 148. We're gonna call it 147. Now, the Ascent, we're going to zero that out. The Ascent comes in at 439 grams. So 439 grams, and it's gonna have, <clears throat> and it's gonna have another 148 grams included so I'm going to put the wheels onto this set and now the tires wow looking at 65 grams that's with the packaging I'm going to say 65 grams with the packaging let's open them up see what they weigh without the packaging here All right. All right, so as you guys can see, just the four tires alone, which these are very, very nice tires from Endura. Nice and soft. Here is the branding on the tires you guys can see, Endura All-Terrain. As you guys can see, these are some nice tires. So all four tires here, and the tread on them look at that tread that it's got these things look absolutely sick and they're sticky very sticky tires so those four tires right there they come in at 58 grams all right so just the wheels alone with all the little screws and the nuts brass nuts and everything total 141 grams so i'm going to put the wheels and tires together then we're gonna put it onto the ascent 
and we're going to weigh everything together and see how much the ascent weighs. So remember, the, the ascent weighs in at 400. We're going to call it 439. We're going to, so the ascent weighs in at 439, 38 grams. 39, we're going to call it 38. All right, guys, so I got the wheels all mounted up. As you guys can see, they're all mounted up, and these things look absolutely nice. Look at these tires. And the wheels look awesome, too. So, stack them all up. Turn on the scale. We're all zeroed out here. All right, and we are at 196 grams, tires and wheels together. Now, I'm not gonna be able to use these little guys to put them on the Red Cat just for the main fact that the hole is a little bit too small and it will not screw onto the Ascent 18. So we're not gonna be using those I am going to be using the original nut that came with it. So let's throw those on. Oh, 197. 197. So we're almost at 200 grams with the wheels and tires with those. So I'm going to put these onto the Red Cat. As you guys can see, I already took the wheels off of the Red Cat. I'm going to put them on the Red Cat and we're going to see how much the Red Cat weighs with the wheels and tires all put together. All right, you guys, here it is. And I got to say, these wheels look really good on here. With the color of the body and the color of these wheels, these black and brass wheels, they look good. Now, these tires are 62 millimeter tires compared to the stock tires, which are only 60 millimeters. The tires are a little bit taller, so yes, they are going to rub more when this thing articulates, but I'm not really concerned about that. My concern is trying to get up that boulder to the very, very top with this guy. So I'm going to put it on the scale right now. We're going to see exactly how much it all weighs together, wheels, tires, and the rig. So let's see how much this guy weighs all right you guys so all right you guys so let's turn this guy on we'll put a little bit of height on here zero that out we will now grab the rig and we are at a total of 567 grams all right so i think the 129 grams is going to make a difference with this guy crawling up that boulder i am very very excited to go check this out see how well it's going to perform with just the wheels and it is a big difference in weight 129 gram difference that is a sufficient amount of weight for this thing so the other thing i want to do before i do take it out to the boulder is if i can get the body off <laughs> so the other thing i do want to do before i take this guy up to the boulder is i want to move the esc i want to try to get a lot more weight towards the front of it um i want to try to get a lot more weight towards the front so that way it's not, it has less weight in the back. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this thing is like a 50-50 uh, weight distribution. I could be wrong, but I think it's evenly spaced 50-50 weight. So that is one of the things I do wanna do. I wanna move the ESC probably over on one of these sides here. The battery, I'm probably gonna move it forward somewhere. Um, I also want to check and see how much space i have in between the uh, body and the chassis here if there is enough space where i can probably move 
the ESC up to the front. I might end up doing that and probably leave the battery here, but I wanna see how that's gonna do. So that might end up being something that I'm gonna do is move the ESC to the front, but I really think putting it on the side here might end up helping a lot more. Um, I am also gonna be messing around with the suspension, move the suspension around, um, try to tune this up a little bit to see how much better it's going to do. Uh, again, this thing out of the box is great, but with 129 more grams of weight down below and the stickiness of these tires, I mean, you guys can see just how sticky. Listen to that. These tires are very sticky. I am excited. Let's go out to the boulder, see how this guy performs. Let's go. All right, you guys, we are back out here at the boulder. I'm kind of hoping that the audio will be a little bit better now. I have a microphone. Uh, every time I come out here to record, I always forget to bring the microphone with me, but today I actually remembered. So what I did was, as you guys can see, I bought the Bronco, the TRX4M, and the Ascent 18. We are going to see how good they are going to work. The um, Ascent 18, I did put the wheels and tires on. And of course, the TRX4M already has all the brass upgrades and everything on here. So this is going to be interesting to see how the Ascent is going to do and how the TRX4M is going to do up the boulder here so without further ado let's get on with the video all right you guys so we are going to start off with the trx4m to see how it is going to do That did not take long at all for it to start climbing up there. That's close. I don't want it to flip over. Look at that tire. Look at that rear tire. Everybody, look at that! Look at that! The TRX4M! The TRX4M made it to the very, very top. I am amazed with that, you guys. Look at that. It made it to the top of the boulder. As you guys can see, how much of an angle that is. I mean, look at that. Guys, I am very, very amazed with the TRX4M, the fact that it made it up to the top of the boulder. Wow, I was not expecting that one at 
all, not at all was I expecting that. Um, I did end up putting the crawling gears into the TRX4M with all the weight that's on it. Wow, just wow. I am amazed how well it did. So let's test out the Ascent 18 and let's see how that is going to do. All right, guys, so let me show you what I did with the Ascent 18. Um, I did do some little updates to it. As you guys can see, I did switch the ESC over to the side here. Uh, the battery's still in the same spot. And here are the wheels and tires mounted on there. I happen to think, I happen to think that with just these wheels and tires, that it's going to make it up there. Um, I could be wrong, but I do think that with just the wheels and tires, it's going to make it up. Still amazed with the TRX4N that it crawled up there. Uh, I just had to pick the right line, but it went up there. I was actually scared that it was going to flip backwards. I don't want to damage that body, scratch it up and all that, but it did it. I am amazed that it did it. So let's get the Ascent 18 going right now. Now these tires are 62 millimeter tires that are on here compared to the 60 millimeter tires that come stock on the Ascent 18. Come on, look at that. Look at that, you guys. It did it. It actually did it. Look at that. So there it is, you guys. So all the Ascent 18 really needs to be able to crawl brass wheels, brass wheels and tires and <laughs> <laughs> I'm still amazed of how well the TRX4M did, but the Ascent 18, as you guys just saw, it just crawled right up there and it did it flawlessly, absolutely flawlessly. Red Cat did a very, very good job. It just, the Ascent 18 just needed a little more help to be able to get up. And as you guys see, just a little bit of weight down on the bottom of it helped it tremendously all i have on here are brass wheels and i changed the esc to the side and that's all it needs that's really all it needs to climb so wow i am i am absolutely amazed with it i'm going to keep going with this little guys and uh just enjoy more of the video you guys
All right, you guys, and there it is, the Ascent 18 and the TRX4M Bronco, both doing great. I am really amazed with the way the TRX4M went up that boulder. I was not expecting that at all, like not one bit for it to go up the boulder. But the Ascent 18 with just brass wheels and those Enduro tires, again, I cannot say anything bad about these Enduro tires. These Enduro tires, the ones that I have on the TRX4M, my uh, SCX24, the Gladiator, and these that I have on the Ascent 18 now, I can tell you that these tires are awesome. Absolutely awesome. I cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the Enduro tires. Brass wheels is pretty much what you need for this guy for the Ascent 18. But if you do want to go hardcore crawling with this man, I you're going to have to get full brass all over the place because there are some areas where it does tip over and it does not want to go over certain things. Um, and it will tip over but i can definitely say that the ascent 18 just adding brass wheels to it i'll tell you what this thing did freaking awesome so basically guys that is all i have for you hope you guys enjoy the content there is more coming out uh this trail that i'm at right now is new to me uh, there are more trails that I do want to go out and explore out here in Philly. I'm actually in Philly, so there's more areas that I want to go out and explore. As you guys can see, there's a trail back here. There's another rock there. Um, so there are some areas that I want to go to. And there's areas that I'm exploring. So there is going to be more trailing at coming out uh, other than just my backyard <laughs> mini crawler course that I got. I'm trying to do more so with the whole going out on trails and everything so hope you guys enjoy the video hope you guys enjoy the content please hit that like button subscribe and I will see you guys in another video you all have a good one keep RCing everybody